Welcome back to Catfish KC. We have an extremely small window of time to work with here because we are getting, we're about to get some major, major hail. So anyway, let's show you what we got going on here with the, with the boat here. It's a new project. Okay. This beauty that you're looking at right here is a 1990 or 1991, I can't remember, Spectrum Semi-V fish and ski boat with a 90 horsepower motor, force made by Mercury. Uh, let's see, Semi-V, it's pretty cool. So right now the engine's not running. It'll crank. I had started it. Let's see, I mean, we got we got a lot to clean out around here. A lot of stuff. Um, okay, so I started the motor initially. I was able to crank it and it started, but it had this metal gas can in there. And silly me, although I did put new gas in there, I didn't take into account. Well, this one's not bad. The other one I threw away because it rusted through actually. And uh, so I got rusty gas in there. So it started for about three to five seconds and then it bogged down. So what I'm gonna do first obviously is um, clean out the fuel lines and then I'm gonna take each carb off. I don't, I know it hadn't been ran in like eight years. So take the carbs off and then, uh, and then we're gonna you know, clean them out, see what's in there and uh, go from there. Hopefully it starts after the carb cleaning because, you know, I don't see any reason why it shouldn't. But look at the motor, it looks relatively in, I mean, good, good condition. Looks like they might've done something to the coil packs or something and I put new spark plugs in there. But US Marine Power, 90 horse. And we wanna get this on the water within the next couple weeks, hopefully. The floorboard, this is, this is going to be a multi-series project, but the floorboard is caved in. It's, it's rotted. Um, obviously, this used to be on a solid platform. It's gone. So, uh, time to get to work. We're going to rebuild the floorboard and we're going to first make sure the motor runs. So what I'm doing is removing the carbs here. I didn't get to get all of it on film because the, we were expecting some major rain and hail, but you can see kind of the process and uh, the fuel lines on the other side, they're, they're rock hard, so. Carbs are finally off. Sorry, I didn't get to show you everything. That was because the rains have come. But man, these are, did you hear that? Like it's, it's bad. It's really gummed up. Watch this. I mean, I can't even. I mean, it's, yeah, it's real gummed up. So, we, oh, oh, and look, we got some oil. Perfect. Perfect. So what I'm doing here is rebuilding the carbs. I had to get a full rebuild kit, but if you can see here, the carbs had some major chunks in there. A lot of that's from the hose or rusty gas or whatever it is. Uh, we had to get those cleaned out and taken care of. And those fuel hoses right there were super hard. They were very brittle. They were falling apart from the inside out. So I'm, s I'm really glad that I finally took those apart. <coughs> and, uh, um, got replaced them with new hoses and then I used a Dremel to label them top middle and bottom so that they went back in the same order um, they are a little bit different and then right here I'm putting the soaking them each in chem dip for a couple hours to fully clean them out so finally got them all cleaned up nice and clean on the inside now I'm 
You gotta get a spring for this side. Spring's going right there. So that should be coming in the kit. Yep, the rest of them feel good. They're nice and clean. Uh, I gotta get new hoses. I don't even know if you can see in there, but it was pretty chunky in there. Yeah, you can kind of see some stuff. It's pretty gross. I mean, this thing is falling apart, and it's 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 rock hard. It barely bends. So. Should be go, we should be good to go to test it out. I gotta put this here because the furry creature over here, she sits here and gets hair everywhere. And she likes to be up here right when I'm working all the time. Aren't you kidding? <laughs> I got all that right next to the bait tank too. So we, we always have fun down here. And we this is the newest addition to the tank. These little uh, these little snails. They're actually pretty big. About the size of a golf ball on those. But they're they're all around here. Yeah, anyway, snails are the newest addition, and they always take, anytime I get new snails, they always take a good week plus before they start moving around in the tank. Some of them have already started moving around over there, a couple of them. Um, these little guys, we've already had one die, not die, he got eaten. I don't know if he tried to come a little too far out of his shell, but fish slurped him up, and he definitely... And I definitely came to an empty shell over here. The rest of these guys, you can see some of them are upside down. Okay, good sirs and, and gentle ladies. Make sure we got prime down here. Okay, bulb is pretty tight. Got water spitting out there. Just replaced the impeller, so let's see if we can Get some, uh, get some water spitting out here. Success. That is a win for this motor. We have to get a new motor eventually, we will, but so far so good on this. Man, that was nice to hear that run. It's the first time I had a running like that for more than a couple seconds. Block's a little toasty, but not bad. That sounded good. Proceeding on to finishing the boat then.